back with another video as you can tell in the title we will be reviewing my gorgeous beautiful impressions vanity if you are new to my channel welcome i hope you consider subscribing liking this video because it is a free way to help your girl out if you are a returning subscriber you know you my boo if you don't know, my husband and I closed on our new construction home a few months ago, and we decided to start completely fresh with decor. We just wanted to give this house a whole different vibe from our previous home. So it's taking me some time to figure out how I want each room to look and what I want to put in each room, because the main goal, the main focus for this home um, is to put good quality furniture that will last in each room so that's what we're doing we're taking our time but today we're going to get into my vanity guys this this vanity it's something it's the one thing that i was certain about in this house specifically in my beauty room we are in my beauty room now it is not all put together just yet so i haven't done a beauty room reveal however that will be coming soon i can't tell you when like i said we got a lot going on but that will be coming however i did want to go ahead and do a review on this vanity because i feel like almost every day or every other day at least i have someone asking so you gonna tell us how you felt about the vanity are you using the vanity sis what's up well, I just started using the vanity, honestly, um, and I don't even have all my makeup unpacked. Matter of fact, your girl has decided to do two videos today. So when you get done with this one, check out the other one, okay? I'm going to be unpacking my makeup. This is my impressions vanity. Let me give you all just a little overview of the vanity before we actually get into the specifics. The glass tabletop is so pretty. I really feel like that's what makes this vanity look so glamorous and classy, along with these little jewels on the knobs. Of course, I have nothing in my tabletop. Look how big this is. And although you can see everything in it at the top, you can have a whole lot in here. Whether you wanna put your wallets in here or sunglasses, jewelry, makeup, eyeshadow palettes, whatever you want to put in here, it can most definitely fit. So the plan is to fully decorate the tabletop and the vanity in another video. So I'm super excited. So I'm super excited about that. We got the five drawers right here. So it seems that they are different sizes. So the bottom three are bigger than the top two. I kind of like that because, you know, because in the bottom ones, I can maybe have like um, eyeshadow palettes and large items in there. I can even put some hair care items in there because I, I get fully dressed upstairs. So that'll come in handy. So here's the chair up close. I really love it. It's super pretty. Now that you all have seen how the vanity looks all together, let's get into specifics about the vanity. I purchased the PlayStation Pro tabletop vanity mirror and five unit bundle. As far as the mirror goes, I have the Hollywood Glow Plus mirror. There is actually a bigger size and that's the one that I wanted. That's what I went on the site to purchase. It has 
five bulbs on the side instead of four. So it has five at the top and on each side, which makes it significantly larger. That's the one I wanted, but it's always, always, always sold out. So I couldn't get it. This size is pretty large. I do love this mirror. And for what I'm doing with it on a day-to-day -day basis, it gets the job done. Um, however, if you have a chance to get your hands on the bigger one, I definitely would just because it's just bigger it's more glamorous but with that comes more money and this vanity is already super duper expensive so i'm not sure at this point now that i have the smaller one and i see that you know it's it's still big too i probably wouldn't worry about it honestly i typically don't like to add prices in these kind of videos however i will for this one because i want to make sure you ladies have all the details about this vanity and the price of this vanity can honestly be the deciding factor in whether you decide to get the vanity or not so for the bundle the mirror the tabletop and the drawers i paid $1,169. That is simply the price that you'll see if you go online. However, I did purchase this in October, 2021. So with it being close to Valentine's Day and other holidays coming up, they do have a lot, a lot, a lot of sales. So please try to get this vanity when it's on sale. If you see it for cheaper than $1,169, that is a sale and you're doing better than me, sis. So go ahead and get it then. Also, at the time I purchased the vanity bundle, I also purchased this chair that I'm sitting in. It is the Antoinette Round Tufted Vanity Chair and it was $200 and I have the pink crushed velvet and the columns were $193.99 a piece. I have two of them. Let's add this all up and the shipping, which was expensive. $1,169 for the actual vanity, $200 for the vanity chair, $193.99 times two for the columns. And that equals It'll be right here because your girl ain't a mathematician. It'll be right here. It was packaged extremely well for such large pieces. It came in three super, super duper heavy large boxes. Initially, I did plan to have some family members put this uh, vanity together for me. When we saw exactly how many boxes it came in and how heavy the boxes were, we decided to go ahead and hire somebody, get it put up quickly and be done with it. So I did have somebody to come out, put the vanity, the columns, and the chair together for me. And with hiring a professional to do this, it still took a good amount of time. It was two people that came out to put the items together. With two people, it took them two days. Each day, they were probably at my house for about five hours. So I would say that it did take a total of 10 hours to put together. And that's three large items. So, I mean, I guess you can say that's not too bad, but I am 100% glad that I did hire somebody to do it. That's not to say that you all can't do it. It's plenty of videos that I've seen on here of women putting their own vanities together or their husbands, boyfriends putting it together for them. That's just not something that my husband and I wanted to do. With this vanity, they do have different bulb options. However, I had to get the clear LED soft white bulb because that is the only bulb that came with the vanity with the Bluetooth. I mean, I'm fine with these bulbs. I feel like a light bulb is a light bulb, honestly. I just figured it was good for you all to know that in case you do want to get the Bluetooth, but you want a different kind of bulb, that's not an option with impressions. You do have to get the soft white bulb. One thing that's super convenient about the vanity, on the left side, it does have two USB connections as well as two sockets. So you can plug in your flat irons, your phone charger, whatever you need oh here are the usb connections that i was telling you about got two of them right there and then on the top and the bottom also a socket as well so many ways to charge your phone plug up your curling irons oh, if you're like me and you get fully dressed in front of this vanity every day that is super helpful for you so i do like that but let's get into some likes and dislikes when it comes to the vanity so 
Let's do the likes first. I do like the amount of storage that this vanity has. I have four drawers on my columns, 10 over here and three on the top. So that is a great deal of storage. So I can really appreciate that. I also love how bright the lights are and the fact that you can dim them. On the side here is how you turn it off and on. That's off, as you see. That's on, you can dim the lights. So that's the brightest setting. And then you can dim it down. So super bright, super dim. All right, and I like mine right in the middle. I just like the fact that it looks so bougie, like the glass tabletop, I love it. The bulbs, I love it. It just looks so classy. It gives the room a completely different feel when you have this vanity in here. And of course, since I did pay extra for it, I do like the fact that I can hook my phone up to the Bluetooth. All right, so. As I stated, I have not used the vanity, so the time and stuff is not right. So I'll have to program all of that. Hit that button, make sure the Bluetooth is on on your phone and you can play music or YouTube videos out loud. And as far as the columns go, I absolutely love the columns. I love that the two drawers on each column are so big and wide that you can fit so much in them. Again, more storage, so I love that. I really felt like I needed the columns and the vanity to really bring this room to life. As far as the chair, it's super duper 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 comfortable and it's wide so i would recommend it for that reason however with it being so light it can get really dirty fast so you have to constantly wipe it down you know especially with your makeup i have brown makeup so you know you have to constantly wipe it down as far as the dislikes go so although i love my vanity there are some dislikes number one is the fact that it is so expensive. I hear people comparing the Ikea drawers and like an Amazon mirror. I just don't feel like it'll give the same look. I don't feel like it'll give luxury. That's just my honest opinion. Don't shoot the messenger. Hmm. Another dislike that I have is the fact that the pieces don't connect. So right here where the tabletop and the drawer meets, it's not connected right here, like it's not screwed down into one piece. So if you wanted to take this tabletop up, you can. Now it is super heavy, but the pieces aren't mounted together. Also, the mirror is not mounted onto the tabletop. So this is three separate pieces, one, two, and three. I do think that's pretty weird, but it's not a deal breaker for me. Um, however, it is something for you all to consider. So another dislike that I have is the fact that it takes specific bulbs. So if one were to blow, I would have to go back to Impressions website and order me another bulb. And I just don't like that. I like to be able to go to Walmart, Target, Home Depot, Lowe's if I want to get a light bulb, okay? Also, something I did not like, something I did not appreciate is the fact that this thing came wrapped in all kind of foam and it got all over the place, y'all. It was all over the place. So if you can see, I still have like little pieces of foam in the crevices and there's no way that I can get that out. So I do not like that at all. So the last thing that I don't like about the actual vanity is the fact that the mirror is so thick. Here's what I mean. Oh, there's the speaker by the way. But here's what I mean. The mirror is super thick, y'all. Overall, I would highly recommend the Impressions Vanity, the columns, and the chair. I would not buy it from anywhere else, though. If you're going to get this style, you have to get it from Impressions. That's just period. Nobody is going to give luxury like the Impressions Vanity does. I just wanted to make sure that I gave you all a very honest review on how I felt about it. If you have any additional questions, please don't hesitate to ask them in the comments. If you follow me on Instagram, ask me there. Facebook, ask me there. Snapchat, ask me there. Appreciate you all for watching me. I love you. See you in the next video. Get back to back. Uh, hey, we coming. Hey, hey, hey. Bye, y'all. Don't forget to subscribe. Like this video, because it's a free way to help your girl out. Bye.